Cuba, 1999. I am 19 watching mangoes melt from trees. Sticky, viscous liquid dripping to the humid beat of an old man's hands. I survey sweat stains on the back of a black woman's yellow lycra and popsicle stains on a boy's blue shirt. I am fixating on stains in general. There were blood stains on shrouds at the Revolutionary Museum, blood in black and white photos of mangled martyrs, wine stains on the napkin of the Italian gentleman who displayed his Cuban concubine at the hotel restaurant. Hotel. <laughs> there were, it goes on. There were water stains on the billboard above Che's black beret. It rains hot drops of music and salt over an island shaped like a green stain in the sea, over the 1959 red Chevrolet across from me. In my country, we use Clorox bleach to unstain colors, odors, and memories. But in Santiago, rain is staining me, and the old man sings of blood in his arteries. Number three. Okay. In some weird way, I see this poem as the inverse of that poem. Sort of, not really, okay. Uh, this is called White World. Snow makes me nervous. It's cold, quiet, colorless. It's white. 